handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Maidan Racecourse here on Friday. It is the 24th of February, 2023. Going to look at all the races on tonight's program from Maidan, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Seven races to look at on tonight's program from Maidan. Let's get to it right now. Starting off with the first race, which is the Al Karama Stakes. It's a conditions race going for a $60,000 purse. Race for three-year-olds here. Nine horses are going 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the dirt course. I'm going to take as a top selection here the eight-horse sharp army. Let's go 872 in your tri-cast trifecta. 872 tri-cast trifecta. Top selection eight-horse sharp army. Three are caught by a sharp Azteca. Uh, Ray Dawson gets to mount. The horse's most recent outing came 10th of February here at Maidon. Six furlongs on the turf course in a conditions race. And he finished fifth by five and a half lengths that day. And he just kind of stalked. He never got the good turn of foot. I do think he was facing slightly better horses in that spot. Refreshing here and not the world's toughest spot back to dirt where he has some forwardly pace which goes a long way on this course i think he can improve and i think he can get the victory here today two back at maidan on the 13th of january seven frongs in a conditions race he finished third by six and a half lengths that day he stalked he looked like he was going to pounce around the far turn but he never did you know he just needs something more but again not the world's worst race for him there and then the 9th of february uh, 9th of december at maidan seven frongs in a conditions race he finished second by one quarter lengths again he looks like he's going to pounce but he just can't get there he won on debut on the front and all throughout maidan down here in November going six furlongs, winning by a length. I would thought that was a very good run. Coming here today with a good post draw, low weight, and has some forwardly pace, I think he's a very likely winner. Uh, you know, the seven horse morning for Tang O'Shea, you know, faced tough horses in the UAE 8,000 guineas last time out, stepping way down the class ladder today. Um, you know, wouldn't surprise me if this horse gets the job done too. Again, very good um, forwardly pace on this one. Um, so to recount my selection for the first from Maidon, it's the Al Karam mistakes. Let's take the eight horse sharp army, give kudos to the seven horse of morning. 872, tri cash trifecta, 87 in your multi race. The second race from Maidan, it is the Defender 90 Handicap. It's a handicap going for a $75,000 purse, race for three-year-olds and upwards. Nine horses are going 1,200 meters or six furlongs on the dirt course. Going to take the two-horse color up as a top selection. Let's go 214 in your Tri-Cash Trifecta. 214 Tri-Cash Trifecta, top selection of two-horse color up. Five-year-old gel by Maymas here. Doug Watson trains. Patrick Dobbs gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 20th of January here at Maidan on the good main track, but more towards sloppy, shall I say. Six furlongs and a handicap, and he finished second by three quarters length. He was a little bit wide. He stalked. He had the lead. He got caught right before the wire. I do think the little bit, you know, you, you know, first off, the little bit of refreshing got to him. Refreshing here with a good poster, has some fairly pace. I think he could really go a long way. I thought the race at Jebelali before that was a terrific run. 17th of uh, December there. Five furlongs and a handicap. He won by one and a half lengths, and from a track position, he stalked. He got the lead a furlong from home, and he got the job done getting up the hill well an all-around good race with low weight there and then first of december at made on six prongs in the main race breaking the main by eight and a half lengths he got the, he stalked he got the lead around the round, around the far turn and he, he just went away with it a very good good run his races um you know this season have been really spot on he's been going up his speed figure forms have been going up with every single race i think he's loaded he's a very likely win winner here and the multi-race i'm going to single him so to recount my selections for the second from Maidon, it's the Defender 90 Handicap. Let's take the two-horse color up. 214 Tri-Cash Trifecta for me. We'll single that two in the multi-race, like I said. To the third event from Maidon, it is the Defender 110 Handicap. It's a handicap going for a $75,000 purse, race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 18 horses entered, but we have a, a, quite a few non-runners here. Um, 13 horse is a non-runner, so um, the 17 horse will run, 18 is a reserve. So they'll be going 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the turf course. I'm going to take here the number three horse, Silent Film. Let's go 3-10-1 in your Tri-Cash Trifecta. 3-10-1 Tri-Cash Trifecta, top selection three horse, Silent Film. Five-year-old Gellin by new approach here. Goodell Fendone, Charlie Appy, Drains William Buick gets the mount. Horses most recent outing, first star of the season, first off the bench, came 20th of January here, made on seven furlongs and a handicap there, and he finished fifth by three and a half lengths that day. And he just never really quickened up from a mid pack position, definitely needed the run. Second off, not the world's toughest horse. He should get a good trip, and I think he could really win here today. Two back, who ran at Ascot on the 1st of October. Seven furlongs and a heritage handicap. 
He finished 12th by 8 and a quarter lengths that day, and he sat back early. He moved a little bit late, but it wasn't anything to, you know, to really call home about. He only beat five horses home. It just wasn't his day to win. And then 3rd of September at Ascot, yielding ground, seven frongs and a handicap, finishing second by a neck that day. He was on the drive on the front end. He had the lead. He got caught late, but he nearly upset at 41. He outran his odds. I thought it was a terrific race there on the wet stuff. And then 12th of August at Newbury, seven frogs and a handicap. He finished fifth by three and a half lengths. Again, was with him early on, but then he just couldn't keep up. It wasn't his day to win. Um, coming here second off the bench with a good post draw. I'm going to use him. Um, a bit of an upsetter could be the 10 horse, the attorney for Miguel Barcelona. Uh, ran at Abu Dhabi last Thursday evening in, um, in a handicap over the um, seven frogs, where he finished sixth by one and three quarter lengths that day. Uh, and, you know, he, he just couldn't get out from a mid pack position. Before then, the dirt, you know, he, he was with him, but then completely hit the wall off the bench. But if you look at some of his races over the winter in the uh, or over the summer in the UK, um, you know, if he runs that Doncaster race like he ran in August, he could definitely win against these horses. Or even that Newmarket race in the Heritage Handicap in July, he could definitely win uh, off of that run here today. That speed figure holds up well. Coming here at 15 to 1, he's a bit of an upsetter. We'll use him in the, in the place powder of the multi race here. So to recap my selection for the third from Maidon, it's the Defender 110 Handicap. Let's take the three horse silent film, give kudos to the 10 horse. The Attorney, 310 1, Tri Cash Trifecta, 310 in your multi race. The fourth race from Maidan now, it's the Jamira. Phillies Guineas. It's a conditions race going for $150,000 purse. Race for three-year-olds only. We have a field of nine horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the turf course. I'm going to take here the number five horse Fairy Cross as a top selection. Let's go five, four, seven in your Tri-Cash Trifecta. Five, four, seven, Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection of five horse Fairy Cross. Three-year-old filled by uh, Dubawi. Godolphin Doan, Charlie Alpe trains, William Buick gets the mount. Horses most recent out came the Group 3 Prestige Stakes at Goodwood. With seven prongs yielding ground 27th of August, and he won by a length that day. And you know, he was with them early on, setting very pedestrian fractions. When he quickened up on, off of them, he got the job done. It wasn't the flashiest victories, but it's still a very good race. Refreshing here, not the world's toughest race over the mile, which he should definitely get. I think he really won a good race and win. Uh, 21st of July was the horse's previous race at Sandown on very fast ground, seven prongs and a Phillies listed stakes. She spent a second by three quarters length that day. She was with them early on, she had the lead for a split portion but didn't just couldn't keep up you know it just wasn't her day to win there uh and then at new market 25th of june seven frongs in a mains phillies race she won by four and a quarter lengths that day and basically you know basically had a very easy gallop quickened up nicely off of that it, and all around easy easy run has been on the improve with every single race refreshing here not against the world's toughest horses uh, you know i think she's a very likely winner a bit of an upsetter here could be the Four, Saiti de Or, uh, three or four by Galway here. Uh, Patrick Cosgrave gets the mount. Most recently, um, in the thousand guineas over the dirt, he she finished six by twenty five lengths. Never was handling the dirt there. Before that, in the turn to San Clue at San Clue over the mile and a quarter against the boys, she finished six by seven and a half lengths. Again, never really getting comfortable. But if you run a, if you look at the races in the UK before that, in the uh, at Epsom over the mile sixteenth on September, I thought she had a very good place behind the boys there, and then a very nice vi victory in a Phillies novice race at Beverly before that. Um, um, you know, she has some forwardly pace. Is she as good as uh, Farrah Cross? That's going to be the big question. But, you know, at 10-1, to 1, I'll give her a shot here. I do think Farrah Cross is going to get bent to the ground. So I think you get a bit of, bit of a better price here. And, you know, if the, the price is right, maybe I'll do a small uh, each way on her. Uh, but I'm definitely going to use her in the place pot. But to recap my selection for the fourth from Adon, it's Jumeirah Phillies Guineas. Going to take the five-horse Farrah Cross. Give kudos to the four-horse Site d'Or. Um, five-four-seven, Tri-Cash Trifecta. Five-four in your multi-race. Let's get to the featured fifth race now from Maidan, which is the Group 2 Balanchine Stakes. It's a Group 2 event going for $180,000 purse, race for three-year-olds and upwards. Eight horses are going 1,800 meters or a mile and one-eighth on the turf course. I'm going to take here the number one horse with the Moonlight as a top selection. Um, I'm going to go, where are we? I'm going to go 168 into Tri-Cash Trifecta. 168, Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, one horse with the Moonlight. Three, uh, four year filled by Frankel here. Godolphin Doan, Charlie Appy trains, William Buick gets the mount. The horse's most recent out of game, 3rd of February here, made on one mile in the Group 2 Cape Verde, and she won by three quarters in length and wasn't 100% cranked that day, but she stalked, she got the lead, and she got the job done doing very little, you know, you know, just, shall I say, very little, but just not cranked that day. Refreshing here, second off the bench, getting the extra furlong, which I think she should really appreciate. I think she's going to be a lot fresher and really run a better race here today. Two back on the 20th of August here stateside at Saratoga. Mile 16th in the grade 2 Lake Placid. She finished second by three quarters length that day. 
she just kind of stuck. She couldn't get there late, a little bit wide. Uh, you know, it wasn't her day to win, but before that, she ran terrifically on the 7th of August, Saratoga. Mile 3 16 on the Mellon Turf course and the Grade 3 Saratoga Oaks. Winning by one three quarter lengths. William Buke got good position with his horse out of the gate um, and basically went into the clubhouse turn. She quickened up nicely off some decent fractions. An all around good race for her there. And then a Belmont over the mile and a quarter in the Belmont Oaks. She finished second by one and three quarter lengths. And again, Yakulik really ran terrifically. This horse just was a little bit too far out of it to get the good race there. Uh, and then the Derby, she wasn't handling the mile and a half at that particular junction. I do think her better trip is over the mile and a quarter, mile and eight that she's going to see today. She's drawn well. Um, you know, a very, very, very likely winner. She's going to be a single in the pick six for me. So to recount my selection for the fifth from Maidon, it's the group two Balanchine. Let's take the one horse with the Moonlight. 168 in your tri cash trifecta. Let's get to the sixth event now from Maidan, which is the co featured Jamira Derby. It's a conditions race going for a $200,000 purse race for three year olds only. Field of nine horses going 2,000 meters or a mile and a quarter on the turf course. I'm going to take here the three horse high bank as a top selection. Let's go 37. Six in your tri cash trifecta, three seven six tri cash trifecta, top selection of three horse high bank, uh, three or gelm by Kingman, Godolphin Doan, Charlie Appy trains, Richard Mullen, the veteran, gets the mount on this horse. The horse's most recent out, he came the 27th of January, made on yielding ground 1800 meters in um in a conditions race, and she finished, um, he finished third by four and a half lengths that day. He sat back early, he had a little bit of a turn of foot late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. I, I, I thought he improved off the, the previous race, but you know, he, he still needed something more. Coming here today, with a wide poster, I'd like to see this horse a little bit more into it. If he's into it, I think he can really run a good race and upset here today. Two back, six of January made on. Seven prongs in a conditions race. He finished third by neck that day. Again, he sat back early. He was really closing up well from wide post draw. Off the bench, I thought that was a terrific race there. And then at the end of October, mid-October at Leicester, on very fast ground for the time of year. Seven prongs in a conditions race, or excuse me, novice race. He finished second by three lengths that day. He didn't break all that well. He was under the drive to get good position. He just didn't have a lot left in the tank for the final half furlong which caused him there um, and then at Newberry on the 16th of September one mile in the conditions race Finishing second by five lengths there. He Again, he just needed something more. He broke the main before that new market very easily in July, uh, over the July course on fast ground. Quick enough nicely. Nobody's catching him. Coming here today, you know, I'm going to give him a shot here. Um, you know, an another likely winner would be the seven horse Shahar. Um, I do like the victory here in the handicap uh, earlier this month. And the turf debut before that wasn't half bad at all. You know, he has some forwardly pace. I, you know, wouldn't surprise me if he gets to the front end and sets some pedestrian fractions and goes wire to wire. At 10 to 1, I'll use him on the ticket. It also, so to recap my selection for the six from Maidan's to Jamara Darby or Derby, shall I say, gonna take the three horse high bank, give kudos to the seven horse Shahar, um, three seven six tri cast trifecta, three seven in your multi race. The nightcap from Maidan, the seventh race, it's the De Defender 75th limited edition handicap. Handicap going for a $75,000 purse race for three year olds and upwards. A dozen horses are going 1,600 meters or a mile on the main track, the dirt course. Going to take the five horse United Front as a top selection. Let's go 539 in your tri cash trifecta. 539 tri cash trifecta. Top selection of five horse United Front. Six year old gun wipe by War Frontier. Mick Appleby trains. Ocean Murphy gets them out. Um, first day at the carnival in two years, basically, almost for him today. Um, but the horse's most recent out came 10th. February made on a mile and a quarter and a handicap on the dirt. He finished fourth by four and three quarter lengths that day, and he just kind of stalked and never quickened up. I do think the mile and a quarter wasn't to his liking. Coming here to a mile where you get a good tracking trip, I think he could really run a good race and, and win today. 13th of January is his previous race at Maidan, a mile and a quarter and a, hit and a conditions race. He finished eighth by 23 lengths and had nothing. Very tough run. Salute the soldiers, a decent horse who won. His horse just wasn't handling the kickback that day. I thought he just was a little bit too far out of it. Also, first in in the U UAE, he probably needed the race there. And then prior to that, on the poly track at Linkfield, a mile quarter and a handicap in November. He finished third by two lengths. He was with them early on. He kind of hit the fur the wall late. Like I said, just wasn't in the mile quarter. Uh, and then at Linkfield over the mile and the handicap in November, he finished third by two lengths. Uh, excuse me, fourth by two lengths that day. And again, he was with them early on. He just, uh, you know, a few horses had the jump on him. But again, he he really ran decently there. 
Hasn't won since 2021, but he's been running good races as of recently. I'll give him a shot with the um, with Ocean Murphy up. I think the jockey booking really goes up with him. Um, you know, the three horse here, Irish Freedom, the nine-year-old gun by Pioneer of the Nile uh, with Patrick Cosgrave. It wouldn't surprise me if he gets a good trip. You know, most recently, last March in a handicap at Abu Dhabi on the turf, he really ran horrible. His Abu Dhabi races are horrible, but his dirt races at uh, Jebel Ali um, and here back in January on New Year's uh, Day 2022 weren't half bad. Has some furly pace. You know, I'll give him a shot on the ticket also at 20 to 1, but he might need the race off the nearly year of freshening. But to recap my selection for the 7 from Maidon State Nightcap on the program, let's take the 5 horse United Front, give kudos to the 3 horse Irish Freedom, 539 Tricast Trifecta, 53 in your multi race. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.